Hi everybody, Sherry here. Welcome back to another series in What's in That Tote. So last episode was our 10th episode and now we're going to go on to number 11. And if you remember in the last episode, I pulled out a pink uh, rib knit sweater. I was a little bit flustered because I don't like working with knits. I do sometimes use them just for, you know, like the top, but, I, but when you start sewing knits on the knits, that's when I have struggles. And so I'll show you what I did with it. Okay, so I, I'm not wearing it, obviously. It would fit me. I just didn't want to wear it because it is cute. Like, I would wear this. I decided to make it more summer-like because of the season that we're in. I think I'll have a better chance of selling it, and it will be in my store at some point. And there also will be a tutorial this is a great beginner project. If you haven't done a lot of upcycling or you're new to sewing, this is actually be a really good beginner project. What I decided to do with that tunic was to embrace the knit and actually stretch it and to create the wave around it and, and, and incorporate it into part of the design. And probably the most nerve wracking was cutting the sleeves off, not knowing if I could hem them. I debated, I actually even had to turn my cameras off when uh, filming how I did it, I had to turn the cameras off and just think about it. Go get me a cup of tea. It's like, do I want to, this could actually break. You know, this could be my first fail because if I can't, if the sleeves, you know, I cut them off and they just widen, 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 then what am I going to do? So um, I was really glad that I, I did it the way I did it on the sleeve and that will be in the video. I will show you how I did that. So, um, I, yeah, I was real tickled how it turned out. I thought it turned out really, really pretty. And so we will be heading on to our ne next one here soon. But as promised, we have to do a funny story. So I'm going to tell you another funny story from my childhood. So this story involves one of my older brothers. And we had a crazy snowstorm. Um, one year and it literally we had so much snow it went up over the fence posts We had animals that could just literally walk anywhere they wanted to Because <laughs> you couldn't see the fence post anymore. It was so deep and we had a dog That was kept not too far from the house But we kept it there because it had a tendency to kill everything like chickens or whatever It was on a big long dog run like on a leash and you know We'd feed it and take care of it and stuff, but we couldn't have it uh, up near around where the chickens were at because it liked to kill chickens. So anyways, my brother's job was to take it down feed. Well, the snow was so deep. We were all, we were all like, how are we going to get down there? So he was so clever. He did something so amazing. We had those nylon type uh, ski suits, you know, and so the dog's food for that day was leftover roast. And so um, my brother, he the the drifts were like this you know when it was downhill to the dog pan so <laughs> he, he lays on his back and puts the roasting pan I think if you would have got if you would have hit something how messy this could have been and he kicks his feet and he just takes off like a little bobsled going uh backwards <laughs> like it's just like scoo 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 on his back and he goes all the way down there to the dog pan and he was saying how much fun that was I'm like that is so crazy but I remember that snowstorm. We would kick out, uh, Colorado got a lot of snow anyways. But in this particular snowstorm, we had so much snow, we could, you take your feet and pack it as you go, and then use a shovel. And we built all kinds of things. I mean, we, we could build, look like, like airliner, like an airplane liner with seats that you sit in. We had a house with bed and everything. It was so much fun. As kids would get out there in that snow, and play and play and play. And in just a regular snowstorm, my dad would take his the tractor out. Because most of the time your snow was pretty fluffy. He would take the tractor out on one of the steeper hills and drive it up and down to pack it. And we'd all go sledding. Mom would make up some hot chocolate. And it was just so much fun. We'd all go out there and go sledding. And so we always enjoyed the snow. And the snow, you know, is on the ground a lot longer your season. And the summer is a lot shorter. So we had a lot of fun snow adventures. Um, we always enjoyed the snow. Maybe I'll throw some more in here uh, later on in another video about our snow adventures. But I remember that one. My dad would even get on the sled. And we we had one particular part of the hill that was so fast. Like 
only the older people were allowed on that one. It was like, you know, we were, I was a little kid. I, I got the bunny slopes, you know. We didn't have skis or anything. We just had sleds, but we had those old style runner sleds that are super fast. So um, you hit sagebrush and you could fly pretty high. <laughs> so, so it was a lot of fun. I had a good childhood. I mean, I like every childhood, you have bad things too, but I mostly just remember the good. I don't see the point in dwelling on any of the negative. There's always a negative. So, so let's get on to our, our next um, challenge. I feel like uh, I did that one good. I was really scared uh, to touch it and turn on. Okay, so I'm feeling a little confident on this next one. I probably shouldn't. <laughs> It'd probably be something satiny or something. Let's see what we got. Just in case you're new here, I noticed I do have a pretty good number of new subscribers, which is awesome. And guys, don't forget to subscribe and like and share and all those important things. Also, I'll just throw it in here really quick. There is a free Discord in the description down below. I did figure out how to make it where the link doesn't expire. So it shouldn't be expired. Uh, I went through and changed all the links. At least I think I got them all. So there's a free Discord where called the Happy Sewing Club where if you want to share pictures of something you're making or just go there to be inspired, you're more than welcome to come over and join us. Okay, so what this tote, this challenge is, someone gave me seven totes of clothing that would have otherwise ended up in a landfill, and so I decided to make a game out of it to just randomly pull one out, and I have to turn it into something either I can use, someone else can use, or I can sell. And I can, the rule of the game is I can use anything in my studio with whatever it is to create that item. So, okay, are you ready? <laughs> Okay, here we go. I'm going to reach in and grab something. Oh boy, it's slicky. It's that poly I don't like. Oh, I don't want to do it. It is pretty. It's in good shape. Let, let's take a closer look. All right. Well, I'm just going to be honest with you. I'm a little disappointed, which you probably could tell by my face. I do not like the heavy polyester style or fabrics. And this one feels, it doesn't say it, but it feels almost completely, it's like a spandex mix. It's, it's very professional looking. I wish I knew somebody who could use it. Let's see what it is. 70% polyester, 20% uh, nylon, and 4% spandex. So it has a zipper that goes all the way up the side. Because it's meant to be very form-fitting. Something that definitely doesn't look good on ladies who like to eat pie. Okay. You know what? I'm thinking maybe something not clothing this time. Maybe I've got a zipper here, maybe some kind of bag or something. It is unique. It's got this like a cover which actually is Is that supposed to be? Oh, somebody's actually hand stitched it shut there. What it Let's open that and see what it was supposed to look like. Somebody has, let's just see, because there is, am I already ruining it? Maybe that was supposed to be there. That is really unique. It, it looks like to me that's hand stitched. Somebody did that by hand. Maybe they did it at the factory, that way it's okay. We'll look into this a little bit more, but it's crossed here. It's it's got buttons like like it has an undershirt. It's not terrible, terrible, but it feels plasticky. Like it feels it doesn't feel like cotton. It feels very plasticky. So, and it has the very uh, night uh, the thick, the long cuffs. And what else do we can we say about it? Zipper side. 
very tailored fit. Well, this is going to be interesting. Let's talk about it. Well, it's not my type of fabric. I don't, I don't think I'm going to have a problem sewing this. Like, this isn't going to be a problem like the knits are. And I think it would make great scrunchies because it's slick. You know, it wouldn't stick in your hair. Well, let me know what you think you would do with it. That would, you know, what could you make in, in your own life that you would find useful with this? This is very tricky for me because I don't usually work with this type of a fabric. And so turning it into some kind of clothing is going to be a challenge for me. And so I need all the help I can get here, guys. I don't know. A bag? I don't know. So let me know what you think you would do with it. If you had, or maybe, maybe you were going to sell it and turn it into something. So let me know what you would do with it. I appreciate it very much. Plus, think about all of our ideas. We can go back to these different videos and read through. If you have a garment like that, you can read through it and get ideas of what you could do with a garment that you want to work up. So thank you so much, guys. And don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And don't forget about the Discord. And I will see you in the next video. Happy sewing.